everyone welcome to my virtual class I am Mom J and I'm your teacher for today happy learning sa araw na ito tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag divide ng polynomial by monomial using synthetic division Another method of dividing polynomials is by using synthetic division. This method simplifies the long division of polynomials where the divisor is in the form of x minus c. So aside from long division, we can divide polynomials using synthetic division. So shortcut lang to, shortcut ng long division. So itrain na natin. So let's have number 1. Quantity 5x cubed plus 6x squared minus 17x plus 20 divided by x plus 3. So, pagka nag-synthetic division tayo, ang gagawin nyo lang, kailangan nyo kunin yung mga coefficient ng ating dividend. At make it sure na kompleto yung ating mga powers. At kailangan nakarin siya in descending order. Kapag ka may kulang na powers, lalagyan po natin siya ng 0. At since ang ating given sa number 1 na dividend ay kompleto naman, so kunin na natin yung kanyang mga coefficients. So, let's have number uh, 5, 6, negative 17, and 20. Tapos mag-drawing tayo ng ganyan. So, pwede yung pa-L na yung L na ano, na symbol, pede. So, ako ginagamit ko ay etong symbol na to. Ayan, etong symbol na yan. And then, para makuha natin yung divisor, kailangan nyo lang tingnan yung sign ng ating uh, last term sa divisor. At kunin nyo yung opposite sign niya. So, dahil positive yung ating divisor, kunin natin yung kanyang opposite sign. So, magiging negative 3 po siya. Ayan. And then, yan, mag maglagay tayo ng line. Tapos, ibaba po natin yung 5. Tapos, imumultiply natin yung uh, ating first coefficient doon sa ating divisor na si negative 3. At yung sagot niya, ilalagay natin sa ilalim ng ating second uh, coefficient. At ia-add natin sila. And then, continuous ano lang siya, process. So, ganun lang po. So, 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. So, dyan po natin ilalagay sa baba ng ating second coefficient. And then, i-add po natin sila. So, 6 plus negative 15 is negative 9. Then, same procedure ulit. So, times, then add. So, ganun lang po hanggang matapos yung ating uh, pagsusolve. So, we have negative 9 times negative 3 is neg uh, positive 27. Then, add. So, negative 17 plus 27 is 10. Then multiply, 10 times negative 3 is negative 30. Then add, so 20 plus negative 30 is negative 10. So yung last number natin, which is negative 10, siya po yung ating magiging remainder. At para malaman natin yung power or yung degree ng ating quotient, so ito yung nasa baba, yan na po yung ating quotient, kailangan nyo lang i-minus 1 yung degree ng ating dividend. So, ang degree ng ating dividend ay 3. So, minus 1, so 2. So, meaning, ang degree po ng ating quotient ay 2. So, ang sagot na natin ay magiging 5x squared minus 9x plus 10 remainder negative 10. Or simply, 5x squared minus 9x plus 10 minus 10 over x plus 3. Ayan. So, pwede nyo rin siyang isulat ng ganun. So, let's have number 2. So, let's divide 3x to the 6 minus 2x raised to 4 plus x squared minus 2 to uh, quantity x minus 1. So, kung napapansin nyo, meron tayong missing power which is 3 and 1. So, maglalagay po tayo ng 0 para doon. So, kunin na natin yung mga coefficient ng ating polynomials at kailangan nakarange po siya in descending order. So, unahin natin si 3. Negat, uh, wala tayong 5 pala. So, 0 muna. Then, negative 2. So, 0 dahil wala tayong power of 3. Then, 1. Kasi ang coefficient na ating second power ay 1. At wala tayong first, uh, one, ano, first power. Ano tag to? Exponent na 1. So, 0 din. Then, negative 2. Ayan. 
So, para makuha natin yung ating divisor, so, ang sign po ng ating DVD, uh, div uh, ang sign po ng ating divisor ay negative 1. So, kunin po natin yung opposite sign niya, which is positive 1. So, yun yung ating magiging divisor. Ayan. Then, ganun ulit, ibaba natin si 3 times natin sa divisor, then, a-add lang po natin. So, yung uh, product nila, ilalagay natin sa baba ng 0. So, baba ng second coefficient. So, 3 times 1 is 3, then add, so we have 3, then multiply ulit, so 3 times 1 is 3, then add, so 3 plus negative 2 is 1, then multiply ulit, so 1 times 1 is 1, then add, so 0 plus 1 is 1, then times ulit, so 1 times 1 is 1, then add ulit, so 1 plus 1 is 2, then multiply ulit, so 2 times 1 is 2, then add ulit, so 0 plus 2 is 2, and then multiply ulit, so 2 times 1 is 2, then negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So automatic, wala tayong remainder. Kaya, ayan, kasi 0 yung ating nakuwang sagot. Ngayon, ang degree ng ating quotient ay nakabase sa minus 1 ng degree ng ating dividend. So, ang degree ng ating dividend ay 6. So, minus 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang degree ng ating quotient ay 5. So, ang magiging final answer natin ay 3x raised to 5 plus 3x raised to 4 plus x cubed plus x squared plus 2x plus 2. So, wala po siyang remainder. So, ayun. So, ganun lang po kadaling mag-divide na uh, polynomial using synthetic division. So, let's have number 3. So, quantity 10x raised to 4 minus 5x cubed minus 5x plus 12 divided by 2x plus 3. So, paano kung ang ating divisor ay may leading coefficient na 2? So, kapag gaganito po ang case, kailangan natin siyang eliminate, itanggalin yung coefficient niya. So, dapat equals lang po sa 1 yung ating coefficient sa divisor. So, pero bago yan, isulat muna natin yung mga coefficient ng ating dividend. So, isolve natin to gamit ang synthetic division. So, meron tayong kulang na power which is 2. So, maglalagay po tayo ng 0. So, we have 10, negative 5, 0, negative 5, then 12. Ayan. So, para makuha natin yung ating divisor at since ang ating coefficient sa ating divisor ay 2, yung leading coefficient natin ay 2, so kailangan natin siyang tagalin. So, magdi-divide po tayo ng 2 sa kanilang dalawa. So, makakancel na si 2 so magiging x plus 3 over 2 na siya. Ngayon, kunin natin yung opposite sign ng 3 over 2 which is negative 3 over 2. So, yun yung ating magiging divisor sa synthetic division. So, ganun pa rin, ibababa natin yung first coefficient, then multiply sa ating divisor at ilalagay natin yung sagot niya, sagot nila doon sa baba ng second uh, coefficient. And then, same procedure lang po. So, we have 10, then multiply to 3, uh, negative 3 over 2, so we have negative 15, then we will add to negative 5, so we have negative 20. And then, we will multiply it to negative 3 over 2. So, we have 30. And then, we will add to 0. So, we have 30. And then, 30, we will multiply it to ne negative 3 over 2. So, we have negative 45. And then, we will add it to negative 5. So, we have negative 50. And then, multiply to negative 3 over 2. So, we have 75. And then, add to positive 12. So, we have 87. So, yung 87, siya po yung ating remainder. Ngayon, kanina, nag-divide tayo ng 2. So, itong quotient natin, i-divide muna natin siya sa 2. Ayan. So, magiging sagot. So, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Negative 20 divided by 2 is 10. Ah, negative 10. 30 divided by 2 is 15. And negative 50 over 2 is negative 25. Ngayon, ang ating... Uh, Yung degree ng ating dividend ay 4, so minus 1 para sa ating degree ng ating quotient, so we have 3. So, magiging 5x cubed minus 10x squared plus 15x minus 25, remainder 87. So, that will be our answer. Or simply 5x cubed minus 10x squared plus 15x minus 25 plus 87 over 2x plus 3. Ayan. 
So let's have another one. So number 4, so quantity 3x to the 4th plus 8x cubed minus 34x squared plus 6x plus 19 divided by 3x my, uh, quantity 3x minus 4. So, tingnan natin kung kompleto yung ating mga powers. So, kompleto naman siya. So, kunin na natin yung kanilang coefficients. So, we have 3, 8, negative 34, 6, and 19. At para makuha natin yung ating divisor, since ang ating leading coefficient ng ating divisor ay 3, so, kailangan natin i-eliminate si 3 by dividing them into 3. Yan. So, i-divide natin siya sa 3. Para matanggal. Kailangan kasi ang ating leading coefficient ay 1. So, ang magiging x minus 4 over 3. And then, kunin natin yung opposite sign ng ating uh, last term sa ating uh, divisor. So, ang opposite sign po niya ay positive 4 over 3. So, yun yung ating magiging divisor sa synthetic division. So, ibaba natin si 3. And then, multiply natin sa 4 over 3. At ang product nila ay ilagay natin sa baba ng ating second coefficient, which is 8. And then, i-add natin yung kanilang, yung product at yung uh, second coefficient. So, same procedure pa rin until matapos yung ating process. So, 3 times 4 over 3 is equals to 4. So, 4 plus 8 is equals to 12. Then, 12 times 4 over 3 is equals to 16. And 16 minus 34 is equals to negative 18. Then negative 18 times 4 over 3 is equals to negative 24. Then negative 24 plus 6 is equals to negative 18. And negative 18 times 4 over 3 is equals to negative 24. Then negative 24 plus 19 is equals to negative 5. So ang remainder natin sa number 4 ay negative 5. At dahil nag-divide tayo kanina ng 3, so i-divide din natin ang ating quotient sa 3. So, we have 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 12 divided by 3 equals positive 4. Negative 18 divided by 3 is equals to negative 6. And negative 18 divided by 3 is negative 6. So, ang ating degree sa dividend ay 4. So, minus 1. Para makuha natin yung degree ng ating quotient. So, ang degree ng ating quotient ay 3. So, we have x cubed plus 4x squared minus 6x minus 6 remainder negative 5 or simply x cubed plus 4x squared minus 6x minus 6 minus 5 over 3x minus 4 so ganun lang po kasimple at kadaling mag divide ng polynomial gamit ang synthetic division so kailangan nyo lang siyang isulat lahat ng coefficient na ating dividend at syempre yung coefficient uh, kumbaga yung opposite sign din ng ating divisor at magmumultiply lang kayo at mag-aal hanggang matapos yung ating uh, ano tawag to? ang ating solution or yung ating pagsisolve ayan at syempre para makuha yung degree ng ating quotient, minus 1 lang po sa degree ng ating dividend. So, sana mayroon kayo na itutunan sa araw na ito. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time!